Good morning, everyone. So today we're going to just talk briefly about the types of fossils. Now, I don't want you to memorize all of these. I just want you to know to know them in general. Like when I say a type of fossil, you'll be able to know it. And I'll tell you which ones to focus on and which ones are not very important. And we're going to learn about the law of super, uh, superposition. So we're going to learn about these two things today. Okay, so let's start. Okay. So we have seven types of fossils. Uh, the first type is the pre-mineralized fossil. It happens when organisms' uh, tissues are replaced by minerals from water. So the tissues in the organism okay, are replaced by minerals because from the water. This happens underwater. These minerals are hard, three-dimensional copy. The original organism, the bones and the feathers, are pre-mineralized. So, all the species becomes made of minerals that that are in the water so this is pre-mineralized fossil you don't have to focus on that okay carbonized fossil you need to know what that is because basically we're going to do something like that in the lab we're going to do some example related to this in the lab or i'm going to ask you about it i think so a carbonized fossil is when an uh, organism usually like a plant if there's mainly plants is buried and flattened by the pressure of sediments so it's buried and it's flattened and there's a lot of pressure of sediments you see you can actually see the leaves you know okay but the leaves don't exist anymore what happens is that they are replaced by carbon okay only the carbon from the organism remains as a thin black film you can actually see them but this is only the carbon all the other minerals in the plant have disappeared and you get only the carbon that's why it's called carbonized fossil okay and you have the amber fossil amber fossil is um is when like an organism a small organism is stuck in the tree sap tree sap يجي مثل يعني بيشبه العسل okay بعدين بيجي liquid ممكن تعلق فيه look and uh, like an insect Okay, it looks like you see it looks like honey but and then it becomes solid you know over time and it's preserved and this is why it's called an amber fossil because it's preserved in amber okay that's what you need to know about this so the organism is preserved in amber like insects spiders a lot of other stuff you have cast some molds um, we're going to do something like that in the lab as well. After an organism's tissues decompose, an impression of its shape can be left in a sediment. The impression is called a mold fossil. So this also happens because of sedimentary rocks. You have an impression, يعني مثل the print تبع بيكون بقلبل a rock preserved in sedimentary rock. And this will be called a uh, cast fossil. Minerals in the water harden from a cast fossil both cast and mold fossils of shelled animals are called brachiopods brachiopods ah oh, brachiopods and they're shown in a photo over here okay so we're going to do something like that in the lab we're going to get a shell and we're going to try to make a a cast and then a mold and you'll see you'll be able to see it trace fossils um they're basically a fossil record the activity of organism that see this is basically just a footprint it records the organism the organism's activity so the organism moved from here it made a footprint okay this is also kind of a type of fossil you don't really need to know a lot about this or this tarpid fossil are just fossils that are preserved in tar you also don't need to know much about that one i'm not going to ask you about this frozen remains this is important um it's basically just animals that live in um, uh, freezing weather, like in the Arctic, and then they freeze inside uh, ice, okay, like an iceberg, actual um, ice caps, they freeze, and they die and they freeze, and then their bodies is actually preserved, mishbasil bones, everything is preserved because it's a very low temperature that they have died in, so frozen remains. Okay, so these are the um, these are the seven types. Now this is important: frozen remains, um, cast some molds, amber fossil, 
carbonized fossil. Okay, these are the ones I'd like you to focus on. Okay, the other ones you just need to know them, but I will not ask you about them in any exam. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> this is very important because this will come in every question and every exam that I ask about fossils. This is going to come in. It's called the law of superposition. It is super easy, and if you know this, you get, you're on top of a lot of questions. So, law of superposition is basically tells you that the younger rocks are on top here, and the older rocks are on the bottom. Why? Because sand replaces, you know, sediments replace this one, and then other sediments come on top, and other sediments come on top, and then the, the, the um, youngest ones come on top. So, for example, if I show you um, a diagram like this, and I tell you which one of these, okay, A, B, C, or D, is the oldest, you would have to say D. And I'd ask you why. You would have to say because it's on the lower layer, and this layer is the oldest. If I tell you which rock is younger, um, which fossil is younger, A or B, you're gonna have to you're gonna be telling me oh it's a and I'm gonna ask you why is it a and you're gonna say because it's on top of B and if it's on top that means it's younger than B because of the law of superposition you always have to say because of the law of superposition you always have to tell me why because we can't answer a question we always have to say why we came up with this answer okay this is called arguing from evidence you have to give me evidence so you have to say because of the law of superposition um, A is the youngest because it's on top, or D is the oldest because it's on the bottom. This is super easy. You're going to get a lot of questions like that. You'll be able to answer them very easily. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll continue with whatever's left of this lesson. Okay, finish your work and good luck.